Hello. Wait, like, you've been the bandit? Oh, no, I have not been banded. Uh, we were joking because... Is my mic... Wow, it helps if you turn the mic on. So, no, I have not been banned from YouTube. Um, we were making a joke because YouTube was down for a while the other day, and I use Vimeo at and for work purposes. So, Vimeo was actually down for, like, an hour today. Um, intermit, like, sporadically throughout an hour. It was just kind of, like, down, not functioning. So, like, video sites seem like they've been having some issues. So, I want to let everyone know, hey, in the event that something goes haywire with the streaming tonight... I'm going to be keeping my eye out for connection issues. Uh, I will just pause the game and wait. So just don't worry about it. Just refresh. In the event that things get so funky that we uh, can't seem to manage, then obviously we'll resume the following night and we'll figure things out. That being said, uh, now we're making the joke that uh, YouTube has been disabled due to a copyright claim. <laughs> you know, <laughs> their own machine has taken them down. Uh, okay, so let me pop on over to that live scene. We're going to start up a little bit early tonight. Maybe you should go on your book of faces real quick. I might. I mean, not right now, but I might. Because I invited you to my final. Yay. Guys, I've been invited to a thing. Also, you sent me the, the leg pants. The yeah. pant legs. The pant pants. Ah, yes, they do come in my size. Excellent, excellent. I'll save that for later. That thing, yep. I can do that. Yay, welcome to my final. It's the final. Don't know what this I is, but I'll worry about it later. Because right now, we're doing an internet. So how is everyone tonight? How are you guys? I hope everything is going well. Um... Maybe according to plan. I don't know what the plan is, so I hope everything is going all right. Let me make sure I that the world... the plan is not buying a chocolate bar and putting chocolate frosting in yeah. it. Yeah, Annabelle had a lot of chocolate. Making a chocolate sandwich while drinking hot cocoa. That's a bad idea. Yes. I think I have diabetes. <laughs> Suddenly diabetes. <laughs> It's like suddenly salad, but a lot more uh, life-threatening. Look out, Busco. Look out, buddy. No, I'm going to sit there, though, bud. Yay, naps are off. They're the best. Yep, the Busco. He is... Itchy. So, he is. I think what I might do um, in the future, when I have expendable fundage is get an updated webcam for our actual face cams and then take this camera and turn it into a Bosco cam. So, like, set the camera up specifically to look at Bosco. Do we have other webcams? Uh, no, because I let... I think it was Hartwell that I let borrow slash have. No, he let me have one of his. Who the heck did I lend a webcam to? I have no idea, but we had, like, five of them. I had three, and only two of them worked. And the other one that worked, I lent to someone. And I don't remember who it was. But long story short, I want to get a new webcam, a good webcam, an updated webcam from this century. And then we can give a designated Bosco camera. That way, because you guys earn a lot of tokens watching the stream. And I wanted to find a fun way to use them. So I was thinking maybe we put up a Bosco cam. And for a small, insignificant amount of tokens, you can trigger the Bosco cam. And a little Bosco cam will pop up, so you guys can see what he's up to. Okay. I don't remember who either. I feel like it was Hartwell, but I guess not. Yeah, I don't know, because it was one of his cameras that was donated. Okay, so we're going to go through our previously on. If he didn't know better, he swear he was about... Stop it! You can't do this! Please! Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. I don't understand what happened. There's a maniac! This is insane. We need to go get some help. Nor Norco? Hello? Norco. Guys? <laughs> yes, Norco came. Hello, Samantha. Looking for me? We should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Why are we still talking about this? Uh, Let's go! Static, are you having trouble saying boss? Definitely hey, having trouble. <laughs> Fire tower. <laughs> Matt, what is that? There's something. I don't know. 
I thought that was your pillow, though. Yeah. Gamer cat was behind your head. What are you gonna do? This is what you gonna do. <laughs> Oh well. Relax. I just I set him up. That's why I'm slowing down. Check us out as all. No, 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 Matt. They're gonna hurt us. They can smell fear, okay? See if you just go up to them. They're like, yeah, this is cool. Just to double check, is the game still way louder than us guys? Just walk slow. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. Okay. In that case, I am going to make a quick adjustment. Because I'm, I'm guessing it has something to do with the update. Or something weird happened. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to go check it. And I'll be right back. Civic says, Ra is my voice tonight. Ra says, probably. I'll be your arm, Static. Look up, let's go. Oh, there he is. He's over there on the floor. How did he make it there? I don't know. Did I put him there? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know what you do. But your buddy keeps attacking. Okay. Volume check. Take two. Hello. How's, uh... <laughs> Poor static. <laughs> but seriously, I want a Norco cam now. Like, it'll be a random shot of a bottle of Norco. Is that like Narcan? <laughs> uh, also, Static. Uh, Ra Zombie may be your voice, but... Uh, I'll be your dream, I'll be your wish, I'll be your fantasy. Be anything that you need. I don't have the best singing voice, but it's been a little while since I've heard that song, and for whatever reason, that is what came to mind. If we do manage to get someone on the radio, we will. then we tell them we need help. What do we do while we wait? We go back to the lodge and get everyone else. Oh god, not the lodge. We should stay here in case whoever it is needs to get back in touch with us. Can you just It'll be the wind beneath the my wings. wings. I want to stand with you on the mountain. I, I want to bathe with you in the sea. And I want to lay like this forever. Oh, that's freaking bright! No kidding! I can't see! What is that? It's just a security light. Motion sensor, probably. Yeah, probably. Probably a motion sensor. Definitely not psychopaths. Also, how is the volume, guys? I want to make sure that we're good before I continue onward. Okay, this this is annoying, this plug thing. Okay, there we go. There we go. Up we go. Volume is much better. I had to wait for some significant dialogue to be to Oh, see okay, that. I got you. Look, a ladder. I found one. Oh, are you Up playing we go. Emily? Yeah, I just switched randomly. Static says psychopaths are my favorite path. To traverse, to traverse in the forest. forest. Is that the path you travel when you're passing Pineview Forest? Why, Matt? Why would you do that?
Uh, why is it so windy all of a sudden? Because you're at high altitude. Shark. Windy Static all of a sudden. Fuck that wall clown. Yeah, right? I remember you walking through Pineview Forest and you heard that squeak and you're like, is, it, is that a clown? Are there clowns in this game? Proxy didn't say there were clowns in this game. Dude, we had such a hard romance going back in the good old YouTube days. If I was the internet, I would have shipped us. <laughs> Alas, I am not the internet. <laughs> Raw Zombie says, I still ship you too. Thank you. <laughs> Bushmance. <laughs> the Bushmancer. <laughs> Sounds like a Halloween themed 80s porn star. <laughs> yes, I am the Bushmancer. Yeah. Oh, God. What is this, a printer? Static just realized no. a thing. No. <gasps> Static, what did you. Raw says, Bromances are out, Bushmances are in. Static, what'd you realize? I need to know. The world must Bicycle know. Belly. Oh, he's rolling around. Shake off, bud. Shake it off. Oh, right. I should probably actually, like, open this. Oh, hey. Hannah Washington is missing. Sorry, hey, clue found. After tonight, their disappearance is starting to make more sense. Static says it's called shipping because it's a relationship. Oh. My God. Oh Static. dear God, I need sleep. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> oh, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to feel like the gatekeeper here. But are you just realizing this? I just wanted to open the door for some fresh air. Don't worry. I'm going to check the radio. Even though I know there's no power. Yeah, if you play with it a little more, it might click on. Great. Oh, 300 wow. points have all my bits. <laughs> oh, no. Static, you are tired. Why are you here and not sleeping, my dude? Ra says, oh, my God. Yeah, way to, way to, like, take the leaderboard right at the start of things. I mean, thank you. Thank you a lot. Yes, I am legitimately just, just realizing this. It never occurred to me. <laughs> the next static message will be, oh, my God, I only meant 30 bits. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the other 270 bits come from? Uh. No. Oh god, we gotta give the flare gun to Matt because you're too much of a bitch otherwise. Let's go. You might pop one off on him. Static says, I am eating the din din. Also, stream, stream is waiting. waiting for the baby and wifey. Not a psychopath. Yeah. Also, how surprising I actually meant 300 this time. Oh, well, that's, that's good. At least you did what you meant this time. I appreciate that. And again, thank you. Hey, look, a fuse box. Watch for the sparks. Hello, and welcome back to Maddie and Mike in the Morning. Static says, oh, there's a game I watch now. <laughs> oh, I have to, like, re-get my grip every time I want to go a half a turn. Yeah, we need help. What part of slowly and clearly do you not understand?
comply. Oh my god, okay. This is... My name is Emily. I think you need to push the button to talk. Hello? You're not coming through clearly. <laughs> Core concept. We're on Blackwood Mountain by the ski lodge. There's a killer and he's after us. He's already killed one of our friends. Yeah, I'm sure he got that loud and clear. Thank you. Matt, can you take over? We need someone with some sort of, like, competence. Someone that understands the meaning of both slowly and clearly. What? When? How long? Dawn. Say Dawn. Say Dawn. Yes! We gotta wait until Dawn, guys. Roll credits. Yeah, he's coming for you. Here's Johnny. I was waiting for him to poke his head through and it didn't happen. Oh. What? He cut the support beams to the... Oh, good. Her sister complies the dumbest decision in this game. Dear God, Emily, how hard is it to be calm for like 45 seconds? It's apparently very fucking hard. Oh! Oh, I've seen Jurassic Park. You have to be very careful about laying on that window. Yeah, roll onto it! You're doing a pretty good job of that, don't worry. Shit! Sorry, Emily, but you're uh, you're plot fodder. Sorry. Not sorry. Go down the hole. Oh, Matt's still alive. <laughs> I like that. Okay, is this with my fucking nightmare? A rickety-ass tower held up by only four cables? No, thank you. <laughs> Fuck me. Nah, I'm good. Damn it. Right? Okay, Matt. I know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to spit on yourself to find out which direction is up. Or maybe that was avalanches. How are you still alive, bitch? How did you hold on this Damn, whole time? Steady over here. Matt, you've got to do something right now. What are you waiting for? I was thinking. Let me think. Don't think, you idiot. Just get me out of here. Don't think, just feel. You're gonna be fine. Emily, you're upset. You need to calm down. You're gonna be fine. Ah, stop talking. I can't take it. Matt, stop yelling at me and let me work this out, okay? No, you stop it. Why do you question every little thing I say? I'm goddamn sick of it. Really? I'm gonna try and get to you and pull you up. Now, will you please get me off this goddamn tower? Please, 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 Matt. Oh my god. <laughs> Fall down, go boom. Ra says these idiot teenagers literally only survive because teenagers are invulnerable. I'm coming. If this happened. To Here. two 25 year olds, they would have died of back pain. Oh, Accurate. <laughs> like I mentioned I yesterday, a jump one rubble made would have broken both my legs. We're gonna persist because I feel like Matt is that kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, nope. Still made it to safety anyway. I feel like there was literally no real decision that was allowed to be made there. I know there's a way to have Emily live, but I don't know how. 
Unless she survived that fall. She may have, who knows. Emily! Okay, <laughs> drawn. Oh, wrong one. Hi. I saw. Okay. Get off! Get off! Let go! Let go! Who are you? Why are you dragging me? Why are your arms gangly? Oh! No, he's not dead. He just got an impaled jaw. Now he's dead. Yeah, now he's definitely dead. Oh no, goodbye, man. How are we supposed to save these two? You don't. Like, I mean, Heath could theoretically still be alive if he does not attempt to breathe through the mouth and doesn't lose so much blood that he dies of blood loss. I, I think he's already dead. But, like, it went through the underside of his jaw, probably through his tongue, for all we know. But probably, and I only say probably as not a doctor, missed the carotid. I could be wrong. <laughs> there were, like, four very specific things you had to do correctly in order to save Matt, and the game doesn't tell you at all which ones those are. Good to know. <laughs> Did that just happen? Damn it, what is going on around here? We use the spirit board. Now the spirits have awoken. Chris, I just want to say, what happened back there in the shed? I know how hard that was. Josh was your friend. Actually, stop. No, I want to say, I mean, thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Ash, what was I going to do? Okay, I, I, I couldn't let anything happen to you. I couldn't. Ash, you all right? Yeah, I just, I know. You and Josh were close, Chris. Let's just find Sam, okay? That, that's Hypothermia. I, I like these movie Ashley, posters. Stop, okay? I don't want to think about what just Bitter happened. feast. Chris. We're finding Sam. <gasps> finding Sam, is that like finding Dory? Because we just keep swimming. How did you get here so quick? Do you remember which door Sam's gone through? Um, sure don't. Sam was hiding still, right? Oh. This is so effed up. Well, good news, we're not going through that one, so I guess we're going this way. <gasps> I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now, if I ever had the money to get a place out in the, like, mountains like this, I wouldn't even, like, rig it up with doors that open themselves because it would freak me the heck out. Even knowing that I, like, paid and arranged to do that. Did you just see that? That was not a ghost. That was uh, Sam in a towel. Yeah, I see what? That, Chris, that! What that was that? It was, like, it was like a see-through shape, like a ghost. Oh, boy. I'm serious. I don't think it was see-through, though. Why don't you believe me? I said I saw it. Doesn't that count for anything? I think if it was Sam, she would have been panicky. Okay. Your mind is fried. My mind is fried. I, I don't even trust what I've been seeing. I think it is the dude that uh, is bothering them. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I saw something, Chris. Ash, it's okay. You're just, we're, we're both kind of out of our heads right now. I mean, just, just a little bit. We gotta pull it together, okay? You with me? Let's just let's just keep our heads. Are we going crazy down here? Probably. It, it's it's the only place left Sam could be, Ash. I wish we could just go find everyone else and What if Sam needs us? What if she's in trouble? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, good moves, Chris. Good words of encouragement, to be sure. All shadows are where they should be. I'm impressed. <laughs> Uh, shit, I was gonna say something and I totally lost it. There, there. That's okay. Oh, I was gonna say, the only thing that they could really do now to stop themselves from having PTSD forever is just start playing Tetris on one of their phones. <laughs> 
there was a study done a while ago that apparently playing Tetris immediately after a traumatic event would stop the performing of PTSD. Mm. Something in the way that the brain functions in particular with Tetris. <laughs> like, I have not personally experienced a traumatic event and then immediately paid, played Tetris to be able to confirm that. Whoa, 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 you, whoa, you but Tetris is kind of an incredible game. Yeah, I noticed. You, you knocked into it, right? I mean, you knocked I into it. I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. Such a weird thing about Tetris. It is. There's a lot of weird things about Tetris. Yep. And candles lighting it out of nowhere and that, that specter or whatever Ashley, it was. Ashley, I, I think you're kind of ignoring what's really happening here. But don't tell me you didn't see that translucent white figure just passing right by us. We, we, we could be seeing things. I'm not imagining I think this is a clue, guys. Yeah, well, I, I, mean, I, saw things I think there's a cabin. I, I saw it where the missing girl and her family are and like something happened I know no you know what I'm really worried about okay I'm worried about Sam what, what, what's happened to her if there's some maniac out here then she could be dead too don't say that please Chris Chris, you're being a real Debbie Downer in the whole situation, okay? <laughs> hey, a closet. I wonder if there's any monk, lo monk robes left down here. <laughs> Caution, hot, and there's a bunch of wood. In oh, hey, remember we went down this wine cellar? Uh-oh. This was stood back up. Remember, she pulled it down. Oh. There's no handle. Not a dead end. Dead end. There's a handle up there. Maybe. Hmm. Really? Frere Jaca? No, Sam took the handle with her. Ah, uh, well then, we're going to have to find ourselves a way around, I suppose, which is this way. Because why wouldn't it be right into the camera. Oh no, we came from this way. Is there another way we could have gone? Static says AFK BRB. Okay, Static. We will still be here. Well, Chris isn't following you, so I'm guessing no. Yeah, same. Which Chris, you're gonna lead me wherever the heck it is you think we should be going? I think it's there. Oh. It is. Oh. Wait, Chris, 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 the ghost! What? Didn't you see it? Chris, you're killing me here. Oh. No ghost here. G ghost of what? You, you're freaked out because of what happened with Josh. You're not paying attention. I saw it. I saw a ghost, and it looked like Hannah. It looked wait, like wait, Hannah. Wait, 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 what? Or maybe Pat. Jesus, Ash. What, what, what do you think? They followed us up here from the seance? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. They didn't because ghosts don't exist, okay? Oh, okay, who was talking to us at the seance, Chris? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Run to the scream. Run to the scream. Run to the scream. Someone is in danger. What is that? How does the off the wall like that? It doesn't. Yeah, that's why you got to look at the picture. Oh, look, a key. I wonder what it goes to. Oh, better inspect it. Huh. Here you go. Oh, hey, look. <gasps> oh, my God. There. Look there, Chris. You can't tell me. You can not wow, see that. That's, uh... See? That's, uh... You do see it! I don't know, I, I, I... That's some serious I, ring shit. This is fucking crazy. Chris! 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 Oh. They gave me control back and didn't tell me about it. It is showing us the way, Chris. This way, through the boiler. Oh. Into the dollhouse. Go, 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 Chris! You can see... Oh, no. It's tiny furniture? No. It's a whole scene with dolls and everything. Yeah. And look, this little key. What I tell you, the ghost is helping us. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? Oh, God, it's, it's like... It's not like anything. That's us. 
Hiding there, waiting for Hannah. Last year. But it's, it's so accurate. I mean, that's exactly where I was sitting, and that's where Matt was. This was set up by someone who was there. Or someone, or something that was watching us. Maybe it's a warning. I think Over the shoulder, guys. I think someone put this here to mess with us. No, it has to be the ghost. It's trying to tell us the maniac killed Hannah and Beth. I think it's this bastard that he's, he's here trying to fuck with our heads. Why would he set this all up, Chris? He's trying to tell us that he's going to come after us all, too. Oh, creepy. <laughs> I mean, like, cool, but also creepy. 2013, 2014. It's, it's Hannah's diary. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Mom finally agreed. The invitations are out. The party's going to happen. I hate that I have to wait. So far, Ash, Matt, and Sam have said definitely yes. Nothing from Mike. Sad face. OMG, Mike confirmed. He phoned Josh this afternoon. Butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Void hole, happy face. Heart with an arrow. Mike, balloon. Heart with an arrow through it. Woohoo, party Everyone time tomorrow. Here on the mountain. It's going to be so awesome. Cozy fires and hot tubs. And OMG, Mike, I am so psyched to spend some time with him. I can't read this. It's so sad. Totally got to stop obsessing, but can't help it and don't want to. Ah, oh, what about the next part? There is no next part. Spoiler alert. Chris wasn't there when that happened. He was passed out drunk. I thought Josh was passed out drunk. There was two people passed out drunk. Oh, hey, uh, Chris? Hey. Hey. Maybe wait. Like, maybe we don't split up like Scooby and the gang. How about that? And Sam didn't agree she was trying to find her. Coming from screen right? No? All right. Yeah, I was... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Where did it... Where'd it go, though? Where'd it go? That's what I'm wondering, dude. Hey, hey, look at this. It doesn't seem as old as some of the stuff down here. Gleam professional. Lighting. That is so random. It's not really that random, though. Lighting solutions. Look. One of the bulbs is circled. Light bulb catalog. Scissors. Bosco's doing the backstroke. Oh. Taking those. Oh boy. What a weekend this has been, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody got laid, but they all still got fucked. That's when you think it can't get any creepier. Jeez. Oh. <sighs> got the cockroacha. Did that just say nightmare fuel? What? Uh, the what uh, subtitles. Huh. I think so. Here we are. Wait, there's a whole other room through here. It's mammoth. Chris, I don't know if I want to keep going. I, I can't even make it. That's what she said, Joe, because that is what she said. Pretty sure I just heard some backmast moaning going on. I don't think I can take any more of this. Yeah, I'm a, I'm about at my limit here too. All I wanted to do was like, like, like this cabin is literally happened. just the mountain. Honest, yeah, right. I'm not sure what Hannah thought she was doing. Yeah, well, you know how it is when you're crushing pretty hard on somebody. Great. So you're basically saying that we put a vulnerable friend in a terrible situation and essentially caused her to run away and never to be heard from again. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. We made her look stupid. If it was you, don't you think you would have run away? I mean, who likes being made fun of? <laughs> People don't make fun of me. To your face. What? Chris, we made her look so stupid in front of all of her friends and the guy she liked. 
I can't imagine doing anything worse to somebody. Status update. You know, I feel like I should check on some of that. Oh, yeah, thanks, camera. That's what we needed right now. Status and collectibles. Your honesty didn't go up? <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me. You've been pretty honest. <laughs> uh, I have, but apparently not as honest as she should be. Um, Very charitable, though. And relationship status with Chris is, like, through the freaking roof. So that's always good. Um, What is... Okay, the twins. Oh, look at all these photos that we found. It looks like they were a family. They were a family. One of them is pointing. Someone got a tattoo because a magazine article told them to, and then she played a lot of tennis. Is that sign language for something? By the way? Because that seems like a very specific, like, what do you got? Like the two middle fingers of the right hand touching the ring finger on the left. I feel like that's probably sign language for something. Possibly. I, don't I mean, know. she's probably she's, like she's trying to do the Wu Tang thing, but really not well. <laughs> Wu Tang Clan ain't not fuck with. Uh, missing persons poster. Have you seen Hannah Washington? She looks kind of like this picture in the poster. Also, she probably has a tattoo. Uh, also, she's part of the Wu Tang Clan. Mind danger map. We got an old mask. We got a telegram. Candy gram for Mongo. Uh, medical tag with... Oh, what was the name on it? Nicholas Bowen. Um, strange Skull. A death certificate for... Name of deceased Sarah Smith. Boy, I sure do like that it has that crickety noise every time. Mystery Man. Victor Milgram... Camera light, cigar, map of some stuff, an axe in the wall, scarecrow, obviously a sideways hourglass, a skull in the door, a stogie, and an axe holder. I'm at least glad that it's not making us do like the um, Life is Strange thing where we try and pair the clues together to move on because, oh boy, would I be real upset. All right, so we got... This totem, which has already happened. Bird lands on the table. We decide not to shoot the bird because we're not heartless people. We decide to pet the doggo. Oh, found in the Washington Lodge by Chris. Someone's ablaze. Oh. Well, Matt's in trouble. Didn't Matt die? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Matt did die. Got hung by the jaw. So, like, that's great. What else do I have? What is new? Oh, yeah, the butterfly effect stuff. Do you guys actually want to go through these uh, before the end of the stream? Or do you want to just, like, leave them there? And uh, just go through the game? Like, I'm up for suggestions, but I don't want to put you all through the, uh... Oh, look, a butterfly effect. Here's the decision you made. Here's the effect that it had. If that's not really what you're into. Invoice enclosed. Y'all can't just, like... These... Are these... Maybe we can explore them Why after the game is done, because they'll probably make more sense once it's all done anyways. That's fair. It says rock. That, and if we end up finishing the game itself a little early on that night, then uh, we'll be able to come back and go over the the butterfly effect things to kind of refresh, recoup. I like how you avoid federal prison by not opening the package. Was I able to open it? I don't think Oh, no, because it's newspapers. Oh, it's just a package? Of yeah, the, the corner was torn, and she's all like, who would make fake newspapers? Donald Trump? And then uh, we got shut down for claiming that anyone in the political party would ever make fake news about anything. You know what? No. 
Ash. No, I've had enough. I'm not going down any further into this nightmare, Chris. Ashley, I understand, okay? I'm really freaked out too, but if Sam's down there all alone with a maniac and we leave, we're basically killing her ourselves. <sighs> all right, God. God damn it. Ashley, come on. Why are you always right? I'm not always right. Well, when you're right, you're right. I don't want to be. I want to leave. No. We've got to find Sam. Let's go. We're basically killing her ourselves. Like I did to Josh an hour ago. <laughs> Precisely. Ooh -wee. Also, where in the hell is all this light coming from? Yeah, I thought you were deep underground, but I'm guessing it's just going down the side of the mountain. So you're not underground? I think there's a shiny above Oh, there is. Shed. I wanted to make sure there were no totems. Chris, I'm getting a really weird feeling from all this. What do you yeah, mean? I know. I'm a little I turned on, too. I shake the feeling that those fake newspapers have something to do with the guy who killed Josh. Wait, wait like, like what? Like it's a setup or something? Yeah, but I mean, how? It's just... It almost makes sense, but it just feels like we're missing what was something. was on the fake newspaper? I missed that. I don't know. I could. I try to make out the headline. Oh, excuse okay. me. Ooh. I mean, if the totems have told me anything, it's that she's about to get punched in the face. I don't know why my uh, my controls are reversed here. Because I push left and the light goes right. I push right and the light goes left, but I look right. This is a little obnoxious. Mm. Chris, are you uh, you coming, dude? Are you just like trying to keep a good distance behind me? Just in case. Because you know, plot. Uh, torture dream. Sure is. Now, I mean, granted, I would love to have a collection of medieval torture devices. Not for use, but for, like, I don't know, restoration creep factor. <laughs> I also think it would be real fun to, um, to get a, a rack, which are the machines that they used to use to pull people apart one turn at a time, and label it Instron. Well, it says, Chris doesn't want Ashley to know how much he loves her. This is literally the room from Saw. I bet, okay. Oh. It's the room from Saw so slash the room from um, Heavy Rain. All this stuff is, is his? Unless the Washingtons were into some freaky shit in their spare time, then yeah, probably. Ah, I solved the mystery, guys. I figured it out. This is the Washington family estate. They had fake newspapers printed. Oh, no, you've got to be kidding me. Repulse them. This can't be for Edith. Why the hell is that here? Don't ask me. It's like a goddamn grindhouse movie in here. It is. Found a dead pig with all of his guts removed. All the gutty what's. Y'all done talking so I can finish my story? Cool. Okay, so it's the Washington Estate. Fake newspapers were found, right? What newspaper is associated with Washington? The Washington Post. Who would want to make fake news to shut down the Washington Post? Obviously, the New York Times. The New York Times is our villain here. <laughs> because they want to be the only newspaper up in the mountains. And when the Washington Post started doing their subscriptions online... They were getting all up in their business. Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. Nice. Uh, oh. Yep. Emily, I'm guessing, was confirmed dead. Who do we got here? We got M. We've got... Is that Josh? Yeah. It's hard to tell when he doesn't look Maybe. like he hasn't slept in a year. Maybe? Or... No? Sam? No, uh, Matt, maybe? Yeah, Matt. Matt? Yeah. He doesn't look black at all. 
he looks dark in skin. I thought Matt looked more Hispanic. No. Especially up in Canada. I think the New York Times really has a standing there. I'm sure it does. Like, because I mean, like they need the American place? news is what they need. Christ. Like, Canada doesn't have nearly enough um, events with casualties, right? Not enough angry, aggressive people uh, being able to let out their frustrations through use of squirt guns. All right, we'll check that door in a minute. <laughs> Honestly, what papers do people read up in Canada? Jamie, if you're in the chat and lurking around, can you tell me, uh, like, what is the most prominent news source in Canada? Because, like, let's be honest, you really can't trust the pretty Canada much Post any American is, uh, news. Sarah. The, the, I think that was a guess. Sarah. The Canada Post? <laughs> What if Canada had, like, a news outlet and they were just, like, the most uplifting stories? I want that newspaper. That's, that like, uh... Look at that. Headline of the day, front page is the just, maple like... Leaf. The maple leaf. static. That's a hockey team. Yeah, I got it, but... Oh, damn, this thing is heavy. Be careful. You gotta come through, Ash. I, I can't absolutely hold buy the oh, maple leaf. Come on. Chris. Which what? I think I just saw Sam over there. My Ash, are you sure? I don't know, but come on, I think we should check it out. Ugh. Well, I'm pretty sure whoever's bleeding came through here, okay? So we really gotta get moving, like, now. Following Chris. We are not splitting up. Okay, yeah, you're right, I'm coming. Ugh. Why does that door automatically spring shut? I thought this thing was gonna crush me. I would absolutely buy the maple leaf. Yeah, it's like the front page story is just like, Moose found by side of road selling hot cocoa and maple syrup. Oh, he wants it to be cold because he's obviously storing pigs, pigs for butchering. Like all of them are there... missing their guts. Right. Um, spoiler. Okay, there are drains in the floor. I was gonna say spoiler alert. The I think it was the third. Yeah, the third Saw movie that used entirely actual like animal guts for stage stage blood, or in lieu of stage blood. So, like, everyone that you see in Saw 3 was, like, actually covered in real blood. Dad, it says, man Sam? breaks into home, drinks maple syrup, leaves, leaves $5, five dollars in an apology. apology note. Oh, man, I want that headline. I want to see that on, I want to make a mock paper now just for that. The closest I've ever gotten was being able to do the April Fool's edition for the Mount Observer up at the Mount. Not Sam. Uh, do we really want to spin it? Sam! I don't, Shit. I don't get it. It's a dummy. Yeah, no, What's not I to get? See that. Why is it dressed up like Sam? I don't know. Why would someone dress up a dummy like Sam? Chris, I don't know, and I'm kind of freaking out. Where the hell is Sam? The interest of surviving Please, when the time crazy. comes, don't shoot the gun at all. <laughs> all right. Opposite of Florida, man. Uh, all right, so. And Sarah doesn't know when the time will come. And ah, uh, clown. Okay, well, see, I I just had a thought that this may have been the time. Oh, isn't Sarah also afraid of clowns? Oh, is our think... chat full of people afraid Ash. of clowns? I like to think that uh, everyone is afraid of clowns on some level. Shit, I'm gonna murder his fucking face off. That's. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. Nope, you'll know. Oh, I got you. I don't enjoy clowns. I certainly don't want you. You're a piece of shit. You are a star. We're gonna die, Chris. I don't think I'm ready to die. No one is going to die. I wish I could tell you. It's just not fair. What? Tell me what. 
Yeah, it says my wife Miss, is extremely claustrophobic. Yeah. I have like. I mean, it's probably just an everybody thing, but I get like super vertigo. But it's like, I don't have to be on top of something looking down. Like, I could be at the base of a radio tower looking up at it and get super fucking dizzy. I, I feel like that's maybe just an everyone thing, but. I'm always afraid of falling. Like, people say, oh, you're afraid of heights, you have to be really high. But, like, I could stand on an artistic tall thing and be afraid of falling. Callrophobic is the clear fear of clowns. What is the fear of phobias? Oh, you should be, Ash. Because here's the twist. Chris has made one fatal choice already today. And now, he must make another. Chris, you can take that gun in front of you and shoot Ashley. Or you can shoot yourself. Whoever is left can live. The choice is yours. Oh, wow, I feel like this is the, the time. <laughs> Don't be so silly, Chris. Don't shoot the gun at all? Yeah, I mean, that was going to be my choice anyway. Because I feel like... It is the time. Right. So did you have control when he shot the ceiling? Yeah, no. No, he just did that. Okay. Nope, it's not happening. You cannot make me. You can make Chris, but you cannot make me. The slithery D, it came from the sea. It ate all the others, but it didn't eat me. The slithery D, it came from the sea, and he ate all the others, but he didn't eat me. No! Okay, like, is it just me, or are the chairs bolted to the floor? Or, like, how does this work? You have gone too far now. Have I? Don't you see? Huh? Why Don't is he you here? See that this I think he's porn the person he's been has gone to. too far. He's a really bad therapist. Now what and, gives uh, you the right to the play psycho God had him oh, as yeah. a therapist? People's lives. What makes you so special then? Huh? You're sick! You're a sick fuck! What the hell have you done to them? Huh? What the hell have you done to them? Psychopath. Psychopath. What if he's not a psychiatrist at all? That's one is the longest decision ever, I swear to God. So, like... I'll get into it a little bit more when they actually, like, reveal who that is. Hello? But I'm starting to develop a theory now on, uh, our therapist guy. I haven't- I don't recall seeing the game theory on him, though. I think he did one. Like, or at I wanna- least I've saw somebody's theory on this. What? Shit. 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 Uh. Crazy people. Ah, Sam. Still in a towel. Again, that towel is easily like, I want to know where they bought their towels from. I'm going towel shopping there. Rest in peace, Matt. <laughs> Like, that towel has gotten mighty oh, dirty, her, too. Yeah, her feet are really dirty, too. Poor Sam. She just oh, no. to the bath. Oh, no. Oh, ow. This hurts to watch. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. She did just bathe. She was like, all she wanted to do was take a bath when she got there. That was her one goal of being here, was bathing. One hot bath is all the doctor ordered, and... You know... That can't happen. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We got a drawer, maybe?
I'm very torn about these, like, making you do every little action type deal. Like, I don't know if I love it or hate it. Ocean View Hospital. Joshua Washington. Final psychiatric evaluation. Dr. A. Hill. Confidential. Not anymore. Physician history. Oh, wow. He's been through a few. Since 2006. 2013 to present. Alan Hill, MD. Southwestern so he Psychiatry. he was a real therapist at one point to Sarah. Well, Ra. Sarah was on the thing, so that didn't help. Uh, history of prescribed antidepressants. Man, look at them all. Not Zoloft, though. Never tried Zoloft. There's a joke in the, psych uh, the psychology, psychi psychiatry? In the psychiatry field, that uh, you know, depression is caused by a Zoloft deficiency, because that's often the thing that like gets prescribed to people. Wow, twenty six thousand dollar bill. Oh boy. And you can bet your bup guess that a lot of that last therapy was because of us. But I mean, he's apparently been in therapy for some time. He is a disturbed individual. What are you? Thank God this is Canada, am I right? Hi, Josh. It's Alan. I hope you don't mind me texting you, but this is important. I got your email. I don't think your plan is going to help. I think you need to stop what you're doing and come to see me. Please pick up your phone. I'm getting worried. Leave me alone. Are you still talk taking your meds? I'm fine. It's very dangerous to stop taking your drugs mid-course, Josh. Contact my office to make an appointment, please. Josh? Josh, please respond. What's that about? What's that about? You just saw his folder. It's his therapist being very concerned. Clue found. Grape City. Yes. Ooh, is this an old sewing machine? I don't know. It doesn't want uh, me to interact with it. It would be an industrial style sewing machine. Or it might actually. Oh, no. It's probably a bandsaw. Probably. Looks Static, like help me out here. I mean, is it creepy to miss your dead sisters? Not to miss them, but to, uh, to the extent to which he's gone here. Yeah, it is. That's a little creepy. Like, I have dead relatives that I miss very much, but I do not make a shrine to them in my basement. No offense to my dead relatives. <laughs> If I stand here long enough, does he notice me? Ah, tape recorder. Obviously, we should play it, not knowing how loud the volume is, and being directly adjacent to the dude who, like, murdered people. Murdered? <sighs> just so if anyone wants another 66 points if you can uh, tell me what movie that was from the um, uh, no I could be murdered then uh, I, will get, I will award some points some tokens. 
All right. Well, we have nothing, like, nowhere left to go, really. Uh, up the stairs? No, those stairs. Oh, yeah, because we came down these ones, right? Yeah, and go up those ones. I thought you were making a vine reference, so I'm out. <laughs> I was not making a vine reference. That is a line from an actual movie. It was stead. If it helps you at all, the line was delivered by Robert Downey Jr. In a restaurant. Speaking with Woody Harrelson. I believe. I'm going to have to get back to you on the specifics of if he was speaking to Woody Harrelson or not. I know Woody Harrelson was also in the movie. Also, Keanu Reeves was in the movie. Yeah, this seems like a good idea. Ah, her clothes. Jesus. Well, I guess we're not going to take the clothes. We're just going to... No? Can't, can't take them? Take nope. Not allowed to strip a dummy. Got to keep wearing a towel. It's very important for the whole horror ah. aspect. Mike, what are you doing down there? There's a... Oh, my. Thank God you found me. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay? How'd you get down there? I, I don't understand. How did you get here? How'd you find me? There's some fucking maniac up here on the mountain. Yeah, I've noticed. He lives in this, like, web of tunnels. I was down there trying to get out, and then I found this grate, and I saw you. Listen, this guy who you're talking about, he attacked me. He showed me these videos, too. And one of them showed Josh being killed, just ripped apart by this huge fucking saw blade. Jesus Christ. And, like... I think somehow Josh is involved in all of this. Wait, what? How? I'm really not sure, but... He looks like Robert Downey Jr. with that doctor, shading. And <laughs> it mentioned a plan Maybe that's just me, that but... That was like a bad idea, and now he's dead. Hey, your knee's bleeding. What the fuck is going on around here? There's a door here. It won't open. Can you unlock it from your side? Is that her backpack? Yeah, sure, we'll take the backpack, but boy, are we going to keep this towel on? It's quite important, you know. I mean, to be to be fair, it's like the world's most resilient towel. Like, if anything is going to save your life. Was that something moving over there? I think so, I don't know. I could have swore I just saw a person-looking thing. Yeah, make sure it's well-balanced. There you go. Set her down. Hey. Ross says, to be fair, I'd rather change my clothes while I have someone watch my back, I guess. Nice to see you, too. That's fair, but... What are you doing? Well, actually, the towel didn't turn out to be the best outfit for fighting off killer maniacs, you know? There we go. Do you mind, Mike? Oh, uh, right. My bad. Now, if I yell, Mike, you should, uh, just don't turn around, but also help. Okay. If you could do that. Let's put this thing to bed. I'm into that. Mike drop. Well, I mean, Mike didn't drop. He's there, but. Oh, God. Yep, somehow. Oh, my God, Matt. God. Yeah, Matt, though. Oh, shit. Matt is definitely dead. Shit. Oh, shit. Damn it. Ugh. 
<laughs> oh, honey, Matt is well and gone. Should have treated him better, right? Ah, we're like the Cirque du Soleil here. Seriously, that is like the circus pose for doing this type of shit, right? Oh, I guess I should uh, not. Whoop! Oh, wow, what a fall. <laughs> Are you hurt? Just my pride. <sighs> Anyone on naming that movie? Move. Don't stare at it. Your staring isn't helping. See? You've made it worse. Uh, Young Frankenstein is a good guess, but not the movie I was thinking of. But potentially oh also, yeah. Here goes also, it's Frankenstein. Be it is Frankenstein. Alright. Now we're talking. Sure. Now we're talking. I'll give you one more guess at uh, what movie I was thinking of with, uh, Are you hurt? Just my pride. There's probably actually a lot of movies that use that line, so, like, I don't blame you for not getting the specific one that's in my head that's a little unfair. But look, never said it was fair. Pro tip, it's a Robin Williams film. Which really doesn't narrow the field much at all. <laughs> the new Jumanji? No. It's an older movie. It's an older movie. Came out, I want to say, in the late 90s, potentially early 2000s. It was a remake of an original black and white feature. Hook says static. Uh, not Hook. If Corey was here, he would know, I guarantee. Maybe. Honestly, I'm not even 100% sure if Corey would know this one. Like, Corey and I had a lot of movies we watched together growing up. This was kind of one of them, but it wasn't, like, enough of a staple for me to be like, yeah, no, he definitely would get it. Pretty sure that line was in Hook 2. Uh, I'm trying to think. Can you remember, like, the actual scene it was from? Like, I'll give you credit for Hook. It's a really good movie. I love how she just hobbling around. Well, yeah, because she got a rock dropped on her knee because she's a dum dum who didn't move when she saw the thing collapsing. No, I mean, she just, like, walked without saying anything. So I'm wondering if Jessica's actually alive. If that was a possibility, because she fell pretty far. And she survived, so why can't Jessica survive, too? Well, I mean, one of them got caught by a leg. Not true. There's something small up there, I think. I think you have to go up there. He got hit in the nards during the Lost Boys assaulting him. <laughs> he did. When he... With, you're talking about with the suction arrows, right? Um, because I can't remember if the exact line was, I've been shot or I've been sucked. Because, you know, I can't remember exactly, and he said it in a very high-pitched voice. All right, so there's a time clock here. Ooh, some fire. Some flamey fires. Some fiery flames. 
Yep, the suction arrows, and you're correct. He did not say anything about his pride. The line was delivered after falling out of a two-story window to prove his invention would work. If that helps. I don't know if I can narrow it down much more than that without deliberately saying the movie. The line was preceded by a, uh, stay here, I'll be right back. Yes, it was Flubber. Oh, there we go. Yeah, your knee's getting infected. I can't believe I forgot about that movie. It's honestly, for all the movies Robin Williams has done, it's probably the most forgettable. I hate to say that because it's still not a forgettable movie, really. But it's not one of like the... You done screaming? It's not like a staple Robin Williams film, you know? Not like Goodwill Hunting or um, The Invention Line tipped me off, yeah. One Hour Photo, we just talked about that at work today. I was talking to Ron about whether he had seen um, World's Greatest Dad, and I told him the basic synopsis because he hasn't seen it, and he's like, wow, that sounds really dark for Robin Williams, and I'm like, dude, have you not seen One Hour Photo? Because like, that was a dark movie. And he's like, no, I haven't. And I'm like, oh no. Because, like, one hour, mo one hour photo is just a, a right messed up movie. And he does such a good job. One of my favorites, though, aside from Goodwill Hunting for its obvious, amazing writing. I see the sparkles. There. I was trying to see over here. Okay, if there was anything I needed. Excuse me. Oh, there's another sparkle. Um, one of my favorite Robin Williams movies, though, is The Final Cut. Like, the plot was fantastic. His character is great. It's like cyberpunkish, but also not so cyberpunkish. It's a lot of good stuff going on in that movie. Creepy. And if y'all haven't seen Final Cut, I recommend it. The one on the ground might be a totem. Weird. No, that's nope. really weird. Oh, one of those gassy masks. Yep. The masks he used to gas people. Like, Ra Zombie, if you have not seen uh, Final Cut and you're interested, I do own it. Let's climb. Leap. Because I'm really a fan of taking chances. Because, you know, how much worse could things really get, am I right? I hope you're getting as clenchy as I am with uh, how late I'm actually hitting these reaction buttons. Like, who is up there killing whatever with the flamethrower? Um, pyromaniac, obviously. It makes my butt clench every time, says Ra. Good. That's what I was going for. I'm guessing whoever had the flamethrower did not see you, because... No, probably not. There was a really good quote I used to like from a friend I knew growing up that was, um, there's no such thing as a pyromaniac, just a retard with matches. <laughs> and I mean, this is way back before they pc would that term. Because, I mean, we, we heard his screams. I don't even get to control the flashlight anymore. She's just all over the place with it. I feel like an idiot with matches still suffices. It does. Now, my weird thought process being... I mean, obviously, we used to use the R word to refer to people who had, you know, mental differences. And now, of course, it's... What did it go to? It went to mentally disabled to handy capable, I think. I don't know what like what terms go where. Oh, shit. But it's one of those things like if we don't use the the artard word to quote South Park, 
um, to describe people with certain mental deficiencies any longer. Yeah, that back to where you were. <laughs> Thanks, PSN. I know, right? Um, then would it not no longer be a term... If it's not used to describe a group of people, then does the word not lose all meaning in attachment with that group of people? So by saying that's our retarded, you're not referring to that group of people anymore, and therefore, like, you've taken the power away from it? I don't know. I'm not... Oh my god, finally something works. I'm not like the doctor of PC, you know? I'm not about being an edgelord and offending people, but sometimes I get into these, like, weird thought processes, and it makes me wonder. You know? Well, how are you supposed to get to the elevator? I go down the stairs. Oh, why didn't you go up the stairs? I also? don't know, apparently. That was an uh, option I overlooked. But yeah, it's like that whole uh, a does a rose by any other name still smell as sweet kind of deal. But like... I don't know. Sarah says, I think it's like the word queer. Queer? Like, I, I get to it. identify as queer because I am, but someone else can't call me a queer because that just makes them an asshole that I get to punch. I can get that, but that's if that's still a term you identify with, though, like... I don't know... Oh, granted, I don't know a lot of people that are um, differently abled. So I can't, like, just go and ask someone. But I'm guessing that they probably do not self-identify with uh, the PC unfriendly R word. Hmm. So is it still then offensive? Who's got punch? I want some punch. All right, there's a drum of stuff there. I don't know, just words are weird. Mm -hmm. You ever, like, you say a word so many times and it loses all meaning whatsoever? Like, it doesn't even sound like a word anymore, you're just making noises? Yep. Because I've done that. Sometimes I wonder if doctors, like, doctors that have to deal with, like, terminal illnesses and stuff, if they feel that way about life and death. You just deal with it so much that you it's indistinguishable. <laughs> Got plenty of punches, my man. <laughs> bowl, bowl, bowl. I'm, I'm getting bowl here. Hold on. Can I go back? I think I missed a bowl. No. Well, too bad. Too bad. Says, who's got punch? I want some punch. Got plenty of punches. Uh, my man, bowl, bowl, bowl. Well, I feel like they're trying to tell me to get a bowl. Is that what we're doing here? No, no. I, they're talking about Oh, like punches. a punch bowl? Yeah. By the way, I'm back now. Wife's car is abroked, so I was dealing with that. No bowl, just a weird word. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Like squeegee. Squeegees. People like stealing squeegees. They do, because it's fun to say. Yep. Oh, 20214. What does this mean? What does it mean? Wow. Oh, yeah. This is where the lady girls fell. The twin sisters that also had a family. The glasses. Velma was here. Jinkies, guys. Punch bowl. And yeah, bowl, as in how I met your mama. Man, I haven't seen that show in a while. I was, however, recalling... Um, Danger is my middle fucking name. Is Edge your first name? Or your last name. Um, but yeah, I was just actually recalling an episode of Scrubs today. Like, I'm not gonna get into it too much, because if you haven't seen it, I will. it'll be ruined. But if you have seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. The, uh, the episode when Dr. Cox's brother comes back to visit. When you're getting yours. When, uh, are, when you? are you getting yours, Beth? Tattoo, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping she's not like, Beth, I'm dead. When are you getting yours? <laughs> oh, so we're just going to like look around down here. That was a danger sign. Good old dangalos. There should be a rock around here that they broke their backs on, right? What's over this direction? Nothing.
Is it this way I'm going? I said the Brendan Frazier episode. The Brendan Frazier episode? Unfortunately, I don't know. I want to say yes, but... Brendan Fraser doesn't, like, strike in my mind, unfortunately. Like, a, a face doesn't come to mind with that name. But he was, like, going around taking photos a lot. Oh, Jesus. Wait, Scrubs? Yes, Scrubs. Brendan Fraser is my husband. Could you go further down in the cave or no? Down over here? No, the other way. The way you were just... Coming. I don't think so. I think that was a dead end. Em, can you hustle a little bit, please? No, she hurt her knee, remember? She wouldn't move. It looked like it went further. It still looks like it goes further. Nope, there's like a rock there or something. Okay. But she is refusing to go that way, so... Dude, that last Brendan Fraser episode was painful. Um... If that's the one I'm thinking of, that would be the episode I'm talking about. That looks mobile. Ooh, what's that off in the view distance? As you walk the other as I, Yeah, it's exactly as I walk the other way, because there was something over here. <laughs> I saw it on my way by. It's probably flammable, so I should probably light it on fire. Oh, what are you? Locket. Oh, hey, it's a particular locket. Oh, she was down here. She was down here. Yes, you're very uh, good at solving mysteries. How could they survive that fall, or did somebody just like go through their bodies? The funeral, was that the name of the episode? Because I think that's the one. Where it's like, you think he's there for the whole thing. You know what I mean. He's going around taking pictures, and they're also trying to simultaneously treat this old dude. It's a heart-wrenching episode, man. I was watching people watching today. I got through, like... A lot. We'll just say I got through a lot. And uh, there was one episode that was done up in a similar style. And I was like, oh, why? Why have you done this? Why are you playing with my emotions? I'm in a glass case of emotion. <laughs> and he and Cox are talking throughout the entire episode. That is the one. Yup. And he's like the person who's making Cox happy. Because his life is otherwise pretty much miserable. Come on, let's go. It's going pretty fast. Yeah, right? No. That's a lot faster than I expected it. And then it's all like, nope, Brennan was dead the whole time. Yeah, spoiler alerts. But yes. I'm afraid to breathe. Well, don't whisper it, though. No! Oh, boy. I wasn't really prepped for those. Really? You want to do this? You want to burn the whole place to the ground? I'm going to not burn the place down. Sorry. That might explode and blow you off a cliff, and I don't need that. Here we are. Quick, shake the controller. Are you it, right. Like, maybe don't hide with the torch, though. She is the dumbest dumb. I mean, look, if he wanted us dead, he would have just torched the whole place, right? Josh! <laughs> Josh! 
Josh. Oh, oh, very good. So sad that Matt is a dead and she is not. My name. Right. After all you've been through, good, 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 good. I mean, how does that feel? Right? How does it feel? Do you enjoy feeling terrorized, humiliated? I mean, panicked? All those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No. Nope, no, 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 they're gone! I don't know if you noticed this, Josh, but none of us are laughing. Oh, come, 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 come. Why the long faces? Come on. Like it's good to get the heart racing every now places. and then, right? And race, they did. I mean, every one of you. You don't want to do that, Static. Um, you can't drive a standard without your left leg. I mean, no detail too small. No happen? opportunity missed. It was such a delight to play the puppet master. To, to all of your Pavlovian panic. <laughs> and all that gore. Gore. It was gore galore. Fake bodies. I mean, God, that shit was expensive. And no retakes. Nope, nope, nope. Only double takes. Oh, you should have seen your faces. Hook, line, and sinker for every little stinker. <laughs> Josh, why are you doing this? Yeah, don't even ask this squirrely little runt. He's got no clue. He's out of his fucking tree. He's definitely off his meds. Oh, come on, you guys. Revenge is the best medicine. You're done. Hey, Mike, he's sick. What? Come on, you guys are all gonna thank me when you guys become internet sensations. Wait, what, what? Oh, you better believe this little puppy's going viral, ladies and germs. I mean, we got unrequited love. We got, we got blood. I don't think there's enough hard drives in China. To, to count all the views we're gonna get, you guys. What are you talking about? What are you about? doing that you need hashtag? hard drives to count views? Jessica's fucking dead! What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. You are gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! I mean, in Josh's defense, he didn't know there's also a psycho murderer out here. Guys! Guys, come on! But Seriously, also, crazy, you know? he's Stop. a freaking psychopath. Chris, bro, come on. See, this is bro. why Chris is bay. Even after all this, Chris Where is like going? understanding Where that Josh is actually it? ill. Locking you up, bro. What? You can't do anything stupid before we call the police in the morning. Come on. I didn't do anything. Are, are you serious, bro? Goddamn. Hold that thought, though. I didn't do anything. Can we, like, appreciate for a second that Mike nearly lost two fingers? Like, that trap, that setup, that bear trap was still him, right? Don't know. Unless someone else is out there setting up crazy finger traps. Josh is and has always been legitimately mentally ill, and he clearly became unhinged after the tragic loss of his sisters. Like, the whole thing is fucked up. Yeah, so, like, he's still... It's not like he was just psychologically messing with them. Um, he also, like, very physically yeah, screwed with one of them. But he definitely didn't grab Jessica or Matt. Right. That is another force entirely. Murder is what you are. I didn't do it. Michael, please, just listen to me, man. I did not hurt Jessica. You deserve this or shut up? Oh boy, a lot of really great decisions here. You know what, man? You need to shut up. Chris, hey, come on, Coach. He's, we're partners. Stop, don't say that. Oh, fine. Be a dick! Is this a big you cabin or a little one? What do you want to see? I You're don't know. I, you are, ah, dude, ah, it's not my fault you suckers can't take a joke. Ugh. How is he holding, like, is that a legitimate gun? Did you, did you or is that the one full of blanks? The pain right now, I am oh, so, so sorry. Ah, stop it. Jesus, dude. Stop. Oh, Michael, I'm sorry, man. I can't tell you how sorry I am that something happened to Jessica, but I swear. I swear to you, I have no idea. There's no H in that subtitle, I don't believe it. He swears. Dude, we can't trust you. Josh, be, be honest with me. Do you, do you really expect us to trust you for a single goddamn second after all the shit you put us through? Where's the group hug option? I know, right? Can we all just get along. 
The line is, why can't we be friends? First off. Not dicking around. Where are they bragging him? That's what I mean. You're just a bunch of bullies. You can't hang out Even a his guy angry just to try dialogue like is this, super guys. calm. Huh? Not like, <laughs> not like yeah, that's true. Guts to really do anything about it anyways. Chris is officially my spirit animal. Yeah, right. Oh, stuff it. You're the biggest coward there is. Uh-huh. I did something. I made you believe in the world I created. And I showed you parts of yourself you were too afraid to visit. You manipulated us. You tricked us. You hurt your friends. And you did it all while you hid in the shadows. You're a coward, Josh. That's all you are. Okay, you're tying me up now. Okay. Stay still, right, man. Right, 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 still. Okay. Can't tie him up if they just wiggle around. Gosh, dude. I leave me a little wiggle room, huh? What does it take to shut you up? Oh, not so tight, okay? Not so tight, I can't, I can't wiggle around. There's plastic ties, that's where it's what? In God's name, is he plastic talking plastic about? This is hard to watch. You ever see this kind of shit before? Oh, I've never, never seen him like this. Money back. <laughs> Everybody's stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Chris and Ash. Chris is an ass. Ashley's a dum dum. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. What did you say? Well, I said you're a dummy, dummy. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, Ashley. <gasps> Dude, so much is wrong with him. <laughs> oh, I never imagined in my wildest dreams that you liked me. Stop. <laughs> You know what that sound is? It's the sound of never kissing Ashley, you pussy! Stop! Yeah, you know, you might as well let Ashley sleep with Mike. I mean, at least he's got some notches in his belt, you know? He'll treat her right! You fucking Some clockwork orange shit. I'm gonna beat his head off. Don't listen to him. Not worth it. Just a kneecap? Hey, Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike, what? What happened? It's hump day, Mike. It is. Hump day? <laughs> yeah, right. You know what happened. No. No, I I don't. I got a problem, Mike. I don't remember killing Jess. Christ. No, I mean, like, I feel like I, I would remember killing her, you know? She's so soft. And she's probably got, like, a really tight bod. Shut your fucking mouth! Ooh. Mike, maybe don't hit him. I don't really want to disarm Mike or hit Josh, so like... Ah! You guys are the worst! What? Oh, come on! You expect me to believe you're gonna shoot me? Just... Just a little meat tied Disarm, up Disarm, sister. Yeah, too late. Too late. <laughs> Why don't you go back to the lodge? Make sure everything's all right. I'll stay here with this lunatic until the morning. Oh, sleep over. Can we order pizza? <laughs> no, we cannot order pizza. Yeah, I want to know everything's fine back there. Yeah, you're right. Why bring him so far away from the place? Would have kept him nearby. Yeah, right. That would have made much more sense. And so, I'm gonna call it there for the night because otherwise we're gonna get into a whole new chapter and it could go on for a mighty long. Actually, no, it's only 30. What do you guys think? We can go through one more. We can call it for the night. How are you all feeling? Because I know at least one static crowbar is very tired. Uh, no, that's a bad idea. No, Mike is really wound up. <laughs> Mike is really wound up. That's true. Mike is really wound up. Mike is ready. He's got himself a case of the murders. Oh, also that movie, the... Um, <laughs> I could have been murdered. The next chapter could easily be longer than an hour, so probably the best to wait. True. Um, 
Static says next chapter is long. Yeah, we'll so we'll wait it out. We'll continue this in the next episode tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Be there. Or, I mean, don't. There's really the only two options. Be there or don't be there. Because um, we figure out what happened with Jess. Gotcha. All right, so we'll get to that tomorrow night. The movie with the murdered delivered by uh, Robert Downey Jr. was a scanner darkly. The uh, oddly rotoscoped animated film... I don't know if rotoscope is actually the right term for it. It's a camera effect that makes it look cartoonish and drawn over. Um, if y'all haven't seen A Scanner Darkly, I recommend that too. Uh, very few people, Ra, would have known that. Corey would not have known that. A Scanner Darkly is like a movie I rented once and watched by myself because no one else wanted to watch it. And then I proceeded to watch it three times like I do with everything because I'm a trash person. Um, but it's a very, very good movie. And it's just... it's. It's out there. Initially, I had rented it because I thought it was Waking Life, which was also done in that similar sort of like rotoscopish looking style where the characters are just drawn over. But I like I'm pretty sure Waking Life was actually like hand animated, whereas A Scanner Darkly was a camera trick or a camera effect, I should say. They're both movies worth seeing, but you should probably be drugged out of your gourd to understand Waking Life. It is a philosophical existential trip nightmare. That will just, if you're really tired, actually, Static, now is the perfect time. Uh, again, if you ever get a rift, we're totally getting together for VR movie nights. I am so into that. <laughs> Does it work with the Vive? Because I'm honestly debating on a Vive. Also, HTC Vive has a pay- payment plan option for those that are interested in VR. Like, their actual site has, like, you can set up um, basically like a, lo- a short-term loan with payments kind of thing. So it ends up being like 40 something dollars a month for 12 months i think i don't know exactly how many months 12 or 20 or something but uh I believe some of the apps do work for the with the vive yes because i have a buddy of mine that does have a vive um raves about the thing says it's really good uh and i mean if the payment plans are low if i ever am in a situation where i could afford such a payment plan i'm i would honestly consider it but i'd have to upgrade to a, a gpu that can handle vr ready but I, I just think that the Vive is a much better idea than the Rift because Oculus is a company now owned by Facebook. I'm not into that whatsoever, not even a little bit. I'm sorry, but like, as soon as Facebook bought the company, a lot of developers that were making games for the Oculus Rift dropped development. And they're like, nope, Facebook owns it. Screw it. We're not doing this anymore. So... Because you know, if there's one thing Facebook does not have, it is respect for anyone's personal information or their eyeballs. They're basically, um, they're basically IOI is what I'm getting at. And I know both of you know what I'm talking about because you both have at least heard of slash gone through Ready Player One at least once. The vibe is amazing, better than the Rift, also less user friendly from what I hear, and there's more to it. But yes, it's far better than the Rift. See, that's one of those things. I would much rather have higher quality product, less user friendly as compared to... That's why I don't use Apple devices. That's why I have an Android. Because it's a little less user friendly, but I can do a lot more with it. And that's that's just how I feel about my tech. I would much rather a Vive that I know has been proven to be good and has a lot of support for things. And maybe it's not as user friendly as opposed to the Rift which is owned by Facebook. And I don't need advertisements popping up every 10 seconds in my games. And let's be honest, the news feed on Facebook has 100% changed from a news feed of shit you care about and things your friends are doing to mostly advertisements with a little bit of your friends' posts scattered in between. Mm. And clickbait. They can sell up to 85% of a user's field of view before inducing seizures. Exactly. Static knows exactly what I mean. Like, I'm not opposed to advertising. Like, that's not what I'm getting at here. I don't think we should live in an ad-free world, but there's they've definitely been pushing a little too hard with a lot of that stuff. So I'm really sick of seeing ads for things that are relevant to me, but um, but that I've only thought about and never spoken out loud or searched for. Yeah, ad retargeting is a shady business, especially when you get into apps like Facebook and whatnot that, you gave them the permission to use your phone's camera and microphone whenever they want. 
So like they're not necessarily with outside of their legal rights, but that's some shady business practice. And it's like, you can't use the app without enabling those things. You can't be like, Hey, don't do that though. And it goes, okay, I guess you can still use our product. It's like sell your soul to Satan or don't be on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Your only two options. I have not yet had any issue or ads or any of my Rift games. And not to drift further down this road, but Dirt, really amazing on the Rift. I believe you. I'm wondering, it, we got to find something that's like cross-compatible with the Rift and the Vive, right? Like cross-play is an issue between consoles. I hope it's not a huge issue between VR headsets. Also, Vive has a wireless um, transceiver that you can get for the back of the headset now so you don't have to be wired to anything and I thought to myself holy crap that's crazy there is no way this thing has the kind of data transfer rates wirelessly to keep up with such a huge like data load looking through the technology man it has transfer rates of up to 7 gigabytes per second and just that my head exploded a little bit because like first off my internet's not that fast. I It needs to be. I wish the internet was that fast. Um, Oculus has a wireless adapter coming out very soon. Of course they do. <sighs> but we're going to have to figure something out, man. Uh, it's it's going to happen. Like I am working my way into VR because I feel like that's uh, the move that's going to bring gaming to the next level. But we're still in the early phases of VR where it's like... You know, it's still a novelty. It's still like, put a game together and look at what you can do. You can move things. It feels so real. Like, you know, regular games did a while ago. Of like, look, you can drive a car. It looks so real. x I think is what it's called, can support rates of something like a theoretical 100 gigs per second. I think that is actually what it was within a line of sight of 10 feet. Yeah, that's what it was. So, I mean... That's just some straight voodoo magic, man. I don't understand that at all, but kudos to them. Um, but yeah, I think everything's moving in a VR manner. We were talking about it the other day with my boss at work. We were discussing how, uh, what game was it? There was an MMO that wanted to utilize or make use of webcams so that it would track your face, your facial expressions, and map your facial expressions in a mocap sort of sense onto your avatar in the game. Um, which he's like, what is the point of that? And I'm like, the point of that, Kev, is for people who want don't want to follow PlayStation's live in your world, play in ours, they want to follow the live in our world, also play in our world. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but El not Elder Scrolls. Darn it, I've been playing Elder Scrolls lately. Um, EverQuest 2 had the feature, it was Sony Online Entertainment, or is a Sony Online Entertainment um, game, and it had a feature, or has, I'm not sure, I haven't been on it recently, where you can hook up your webcam, and as long as your face is in the right lighting, it will map your face, and your facial expressions will appear on your avatar in the game, which is like, if you're playing in a first person, imagine a first person game that does facial tracking, like, you're basically in the Oasis. And I've already seen that they've developed or are developing the technology for the haptic gloves, which is pretty intense. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend looking it up. It's on the YouTube channel Smarter Every Day. Um, he did a couple videos specifically talking about Ready Player One. Razer has the same thing, a something frog or lily pad or whatever that is that used your actual hands as the controller. So there's that. Um... The other thing that I thought was a little weird, right, as long as we're on the subject, is the I saw a company through Smarter Every Day that was trying to replicate the multi-directional treadmill that was um, talked about in Ready Player One. And it was basically a treadmill made out of smaller treadmills. So you had one axis that would go side to side and one that would move all those axis, axes forward and back. It was hooked up through an HTC and it was tracking the user based on a belt that they were on. So obviously that like the timing was a little off now personally i don't know if you guys are familiar with like the vr domes domes spheres virtue spheres um from what i was my understanding there is a vr facility in north carolina has been for a while now that 
did a lot of training simulations and things like that for the military. I don't know how accurate that is. I read it in one of those like hundred things you didn't know books, but it was actually in a book. So like, I guess that's good. Um, but that they were like state of the art when it comes to VR and they had, um, virtue spheres, which was like a giant hamster wheel or hamster ball, I should say on rollers. And you would put the person in this giant sphere and because it's a sphere, as you're walking, it's just essentially like a treadmill that works based on you running on it. Omnidirectional treadmills have so much potential, but they require so much real estate. They really do. Like, a, one of those virtue spheres would probably take up this entire studio. Because you have to think that if it's too small, then you're not going to have room to move around. And taking a step forward is going to feel like climbing up a, an incline because, you know, the curve of the bottom of the sphere needs to be at such where it feels like you're walking straight. There is a lot of potential there, and I think it'd be interesting to see an entire arcade put together. You probably will see that in, like, within the next decade, I'd almost guarantee you. You're going to see arcades opening up with Virtue Sphere technology because you're already seeing kiosks at the mall that have VR roller coasters that you can ride on for, like, five bucks or whatever it is. And, like, aside from my fears of getting pink eye, that sounds like a great idea. So, there's that. But, you know, where you can finally, like, go, you go to an arcade, they hand you, like, a foam gun, and they're like, here you go. Basically, you're just going to be playing Call of Duty. But you've actually got people that are running and moving around with other people that are running and moving around. 2020 is going to be the year of VR. I'm betting on it. Yeah. The <laughs> we'll use the tagline, like, uh, foresight is 2020. And it'll be like a whole thing about seeing into the future. It'll be real good. I'm very excited for the 2020s. Also, as we turn from 2019 to 2020, someone somewhere, probably me, is going to have to have a roaring 20s gathering party where everyone dresses in 1920s jazz attire and we listen to like electro swing music because that sounds like a great way to bring in the 20s. Am I right? Or am I right? I'm right. You know it. So... <laughs> There's that. Um, yeah, so now that we've been sitting here having a, a conversation for the last 10 minutes, don't forget <laughs> to come back to us tomorrow night, 10 p.m., so we can get to the next chapter of Until Dawn and figure out what the heck happened to Jess, figure out that uh, Matt is definitely dead, figure out who Mike is sticking his dick in, because Mike needs to know these things. If... <laughs> It's probably going to be Sam because Sam's freed up now. Um, and all right, because Mike is freed up now and Sam wasn't really with anyone to begin with. And then Ashley and Chris can go be a thing. That's my that's my head cannon. I'm sticking to it. But my other theory was that this the doctor um, was Josh's father. Right. And he's like trying to be like, why are you doing this? You're sick. And, but no, it's just his therapist, I guess. So there's that. Anyway, guys, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for coming to the stream. Thanks for being here. Thanks for trying to help me make good decisions and then watching me make bad ones against your best judgment. So there's that. But we'll be back again tomorrow night with more until dawn. I'm going to need to get up. So uh, I'll say my goodbyes when I make it to my other mic because otherwise we get this awkward, like I get up, I walk over there and it's, it's weird. Bye. I'm also noticing that it looks like the camera froze, so that's great. But, you know, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Walk of shame. I know, right? Thank you, Static. You also have a good night. I hope you find some sleep, my dude. And I will see you all tomorrow night. Bye. Hashtag, what are they doing behind the bushes? Trend that shit.